Hey everybody, today on Rod or Runs, we're previewing a prototype of Flashpoint Legacy of Flame. But before I get going, please turn your subtitles on to the Klingon channel so that when I make rules goofs, you'll know what they are. And if you've done that, then welcome to the inferno everybody we are in a city park that has caught fire there are potential victims out there that need to be saved there are hazardous chemicals that could explode at any moment and in this game i am there are two brave firefighters who are going to try and save the day i'm the green player jen is the blue player and i am taking on the role of the teamwork specialist while jen is the agility specialist and every time you play the game you You've got a bunch of different firefighters to choose from. Could have been the mitigation specialist, suppression, triage, engineering. Um, could have been one of them instead. Actually, could also be the deck gun specialist or the generalist. But I chose not to for this particular game because uh, Legacy of Flame is a legacy style game. You're going to play through 12 different chapters. And this is just one of the chapters that comes fairly early in the game that I'm showing you here. I'm not going to do any story spoilers or anything like that, though. I'm just showing you gameplay today. But one interesting new bit of gameplay for um, Flashpoint Fire Rescue is, in original Flashpoint, hey, if uh, somebody gets hit by fire, they just get knocked down, they come back out, and then they can run back in. In this game, when they get knocked down, they accrue injuries. And um, those injuries will stick with them game after game after game and prevents them from being able to carry as much equipment as normal. So in previous sessions that Jen I've been playing through, both the general and the deck gun specialist have taken some injuries. So I could bring them out here to fight the fire in the park, but I chose to leave them back at the station because that means in the next chapter, their injuries will have healed and they can go back to carrying two pieces of equipment instead of one. And it's too bad because these have been rock stars up to now. This deck gun specialist has saved us so many times and the generalist is always a good one to have on the team. But today I'm leaving them behind and we're bringing up Mr. Mr. Teamwork and Ms. Agility and wish us luck, folks. So there's one other thing, uh, actually uh, probably a few other things if you're a Flashpoint Fire Rescue fan, you may notice they're a bit different. First of all, we're not here alone. We've got a helper. This is the generic helper marker, and today our helper is Park Ranger Bill, who is effectively a third character who we share control of who can help us with special abilities. Also, you're wondering, hey, what's this thing with a fire deck and an event deck? Well, this is the coolest, biggest new addition in that every time you play, the different sessions and scenarios have different decks full of events. And also, as part of setup, you're you're supposed to make a unique fire deck, uh, and over the course of the campaign, more and more new cards will get added or removed from the fire deck. So in regular Flashpoint Fire Rescue, the fire just advances, and we deal with flashpoints and whatnot. Um, you know, in kind of a preset order. Now this deck of cards tells us how the fire is going to behave, and this park mission I'm on is so unique; it has its own park fire deck with unique events. Yeah, you know, the events plus the way the fire is is going to work is going to be different than maybe you've ever seen before in Flashpoint, and I am ready to go. So I'm a green player. I chose to start up here at this entrance so I can just rush right in and start fighting the fire. While Jen, she's down here by the fire engine and the ambulance, she, as the agility specialist, is going to rush in and try and save these people. But what am I going to do? Well, I've got four action points I can spend on my turn. My special ability is at the end of my turn, I can give a bonus action point either to myself, so on the next turn I'll have five action points, or I can give it to Jen. So she'll go from having three action points to four action points. And that's what I'm planning on doing at the end of my turn, is making up for Jen's weaker action point allowance by using my teamwork specialist. Now like I said folks, this is a legacy game. When you first get the game, you're supposed to give all these characters names. There will actually be stickers that you can um, you know, put so you can really personalize them. And you can see over time, they will unlock skills. Now, I haven't gotten any skills for them yet, so they're just their normal stuff, but they do have some equipment. My teamwork specialist is carrying a fire extinguisher and a reserve oxygen mask. Jen's got a medical kit 
and a heartbeat sensor. This is a special piece of high-tech equipment that we unlocked in a previous session, and we've been able to carry it over from game to game. And you know, it's possible we might not have unlocked this. We might have unlocked something else in a session or failed to unlock things. So the game grows and evolves as you play fighting fire after fire. Anyway, enough talk. Let's do it. I've got four action points, and um, you know, the game is pretty much the same. I can spend action points to move or move through fire, move victims or hazmat around, um, open and close doors, although there are no doors here in the uh, in this park. Uh, put out the fire or you know the smoke. Chop away at walls, although again there are no walls to chop away at. I can also, if I were on the fire extinguisher or the fire truck, I could drive. But you know we're in a park. There's no place else for the fire truck to drive to. And actually, interestingly, uh, in this mission, it's a special thing. The fire truck cannot use its normal deck gun to spray water all over the place because there's no water out here deep in the park. So we're very limited in what we can do. Uh, we cannot fire the deck gun, but we can still go to the fire truck to change crew and also to pick up more equipment that is sitting at the fire truck. So anyway, I'm way up here. I am just going to rush right in um, because I'm a firefighter and that's what I do. I've got four action points. One uh, action point. I've got three more. Two Three, I've just put out that fire, and now I could rush in further, but if I end my turn standing next to fire, that fire could burn me and injure me. So I don't think it makes any sense for me to push any further. I'm just going to stay where I am after having taken out one of those, and I'll bank my fourth action point. So that next turn, I'll have four plus one. I'll have five actions to keep fighting the fire up here. Now, normally, that would be it for me. I spend my four action points. Uh, we do some other st end of round stuff. You know, in the original game, the end of round stuff was advance fire and then replenish POIs. But um, I've got one more thing I can do. Because we've got a helper and I'm the first player, I can choose. Will Ranger Bill either move one or two spaces from where they are, or will they guide the victims out of the fire? I can have Ranger Bill move all per a point of interest in their row or their column one space in any direction. And you can see, randomly, this is where the fire came in, the hazardous materials, where the uh, potential victims are. Um, two of these showed up here in this column. That's why we put Ranger Bill here in this spot. Because, you know, actually, even thinking about, I should have put them over, Ranger Bill over here with the hazmat. So, Ranger Bill can say to everybody in his row or his column, move! And so, he's going to tell both these to move. We're going to have this one move towards Ranger Bill, which immediately reveals that, yep, it is a victim that needs saving. So now, there's a victim, hazmat, and Ranger Bill all in this space. And then this one, move! And it moves down south away from the fire. Now, this could be another victim, or it could be a false alarm. About a third of all of these points of interest are just blank. But even still, Ranger Bill has done his job well. And I am done at the end of my turn. Remember, my special power, because I have not lock, unlocked any additional skills are, I'm going to give another action point, either to me or to Jen. I'm going to give it to Jen, because Jen needs all the help she can get. So, I have finished the main portion of my turn where I can spend action points, the action phase. Now, in original Flashpoint, uh, for the advanced fire phase, we would resolve all of these additional steps, one after another in order, but in um, Legacy of Flame, it's different. Instead, we just draw a card and tell a, and it tells us what to do. So, this card says, okay, really simple, advance fire. Most of these cards are advanced fire, because that's the thing that most often happens. So we take the dice, we roll, and advanced fire means there's going to be another fire or smoke token put out. So it's 2, 5. All right, red 2. Uh, all right, red 2, black 5. Boom, right there. So since there's already fire on this spot, we have an explosion, which means in all four directions, more fire spreads. So one spreads there, one spreads there. One spreads south, and then run. one spreads east. So, that's not great. I'm completely penned in, but I'm up there to fight. Okay, so that was it. We have resolved the fire deck, and sometimes these cards are really simple. Just advance fire. Sometimes they're much more complex. They can do all kinds of interesting things, and you'll see those as we go on. And uh, then, after we do the advanced fire step, we replenish. If there are not three points of interest on the board, and right now there are, we roll to put more points of interest out there. My turn is over. It is Jen's turn. And Jen's got one, two, three, 
four actions to spend. And her thing is, as a agility specialist, she can move and um, pull people to safety diagonally. Normally, you can only move um, you know, north, south, east, or west, so it's kind of slow, but Jen is very fast. And that's why we put her here, because with her three action points, she could go one, two, three, and get over to this person lickety-split. If it were me, I'd have to go one, two, three, or you know, one, two, three, four, five, six. But Jen can get there in half the time because of the diagonals. But before Jen's going to rush over there, first of all, Jen now has control over Ranger Bill. So she can um, have Ranger Bill do a thing on her turn. She also, once per turn, since she's got the heartbeat sensor, can flip and reveal a point of interest anywhere in the scene. So here's what Jen's going to do. First of all, she's going to activate Ranger Bill. And Ranger Bill's going to say, everybody in my rower, call a move. And so this one is going to move here and reveal, it's the dog. We got to save the dog. All right, so we know two victims. And now the other one is going to move further south to get out of there. So Jen has had Ranger Bill uh, do his special power. It's good to have you on board, Ranger. And now Jen's going to use the heartbeat and find out what this is over here. I did it. Oh, it's a victim. Okay. Wow, we've already seen three victims. Um, that's a bit unlikely. One of them, statistically, should have been a false alarm. So anyway, we got to get over there before the fire spreads. And like I said, it would take me forever to get over there, but not Jen. She's going to use one, two, three action points moving diagonally to reach there. She wouldn't have bothered if it was a false alarm. Now... She has one more action point, the action point I gave her via teamwork. She could use it, but I don't think she's going to. I think she's just going to wait. She's going to stand here and then carry this person to safety next turn. Um, and she'll just bank this uh, so she's got more actions in the next turn. So she's done. And now, at the after she's done with her actions, and she's used Park Ranger Bill, we reveal the next card. And like I said, folks, most cards are very simple. Just advance fire. Let's see where the fire goes next. Alrighty, red four, bl uh, black six, red four, black six. Okay, uh, it's an empty space, which means it comes in as smoke. But, folk, wherever there's smoke, there's fire. And whenever smoke is next to fire, it immediately catches. So, it's like the fire is chasing these people to safety. Oh, no. All right, but still, that was fairly painless. It would have been much worse if it had landed anywhere in here, because that would have created an explosion that would have radiated out in all four directions. So, so far, so good. Things are kind of going our way. It may look like the fire is out of control, and it's only going to get worse, but we're doing okay, thanks to Park Ranger Bill. So, we resolve this. Jen's turn is over. It is my turn. Park Ranger Bill is on my team. And I say, Park Ranger Bill, before I do anything, get those people to safety. And so Park Ranger Bill, everybody in my rower column, move. Now, that's interesting. If Park Ranger Bill were here, then Park Ranger Bill could say, you two, move. Or instead on the column could say, you, move. But as it is, Park Ranger Bill's here. So I'm going to move this one to safety. The dog is getting closer. Park Ranger Bill is done. Oh, you've done good work. And now I've got five action points. The one I banked, plus four more. I'm just going to keep fighting the fire. One, two, three, four. Just trying to keep this under control, trying to keep this corridor, trying to punch a hole so we don't just have this one big wall. Plus, I'm safe now. Ending your turn next to fire could lead to injury, but I'm safe. I've got one more action point. I could use it to move further, but I don't think I'm going to. I'm just going to hold on to that, and I am done with my actions. I've done with this. Now, I should say, I've got equipment. I could use my reserve auction mass to give me two more action points. It's like I've got extra banked action points, but I'm going to save it for when I need it. I've also got this fire extinguisher that let me just instantly take out a fire without having to spend two action points. But again, I'm saving them for when my bacon is really uh, in trouble. Uh, so, I am done. We uh, get our next event or uh, deck. And again, just advancing fire. Okay, red one. Oh my gosh! What the heck? What the heck? Right where I am. What are the chances of that, folks? It had to be a one. It had to be a four. Isn't that like a one in 50 chance, I think? Wow. Okay, well, folks, you saw me roll. You're going to see everything today. Fire. Um, or, no, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. It's not fire. It's smoke. It's smoke. Uh, the smoke spread because there's no fire next to me because I've cleared all the fire away. It's just smoke. If there was still fire here, the smoke would have appeared here and then immediately combusted, and then I would have gotten injured. But as it is, I'm safe. i got to either get out of here or clear that out, which I'll worry about in a bit. So that, was, that could have been a lot worse. All right, so that was lucky. 
and uh, I am done. It is now Jen's turn. As you can see, folks, like regular Flashpoint Fire Rescue, turns can often go very quick, but as the game goes on and the fire spreads, decisions get tougher and tougher. So what is Jen going to do? Keep on um, arguing, uh, using Bill to say, hey, everybody in the rower column with Ranger Bill move. So this one moves over here to the ambulance and boom. We've just saved our first. To win this game, we have to save seven victims. We lose if four victims are lost, or in the regular game, we fight fires in buildings. And these represent, as we put more and more of these cubes on the board, these represent the building structure integrity getting to where it's going to collapse. If the building collapses before we get seven people out, we lose. These still work here. Um, if we were to have fire hit this spot, it would expand up there, left over this way and over here, and we put it on the edge. This represents fire spreading farther into the park. And if all these cubes end up on the outskirts anywhere, we'll still lose like normal. So anyway. So, um, Jen has used uh, that, uh, used the dog to rush over to safety. So that's been pretty good. Okay, and now Jen's got three plus one. Oh, wait, oh, let's not forget, at the end of my turn, uh, using my teamwork specialist, I gave Jen another action point. So Jen's got five action points to use. And she's going to need him to pull this person all the way out here because to move an injured person takes two action points instead of one. So he'll take Jen one, two, three, four, five, six. She's only got five, but she is carrying a medical kit. So Jen is going to expend this, it's a one-time use, to put a heal token on this victim. And now this victim can move around for free. So Jen is going to spend one, two, three. Three to get in, three to get back, thanks to the healing. The person was able to get on their own, and we have just rescued our second person. And Jen still got two action points left to spend. Alrighty, so we're going to, uh, Ranger Bill can get the dog out, so um, what else is Jen going to do? Jen could, she's, I think she's just going to stop, right? Because she could use these, but she can bank these action points um, and see what she's going to do with them later. There's no more points of interest to reveal with the heartbeat sensor. So I think Jen is done. Things are going pretty well. That was a near miss for me, but we've already saved um, two, almost three victims. And the advance the fire again. All righty, uh, red one. Wow, this fire has it in for me. <gasps> oh, folks. All right, red one, black three. It comes in here. It's next to smoke, or the smoke is next to fire. So it immediately ignites, which means this immediately ignites, and boom, I am knocked over. Oh my God. No! No, this is terrible. Because. I am now going to have to come back to the fire engine, and I've just taken a permanent injury. I have to put a sticker, and that means one of my two pieces of equipment I can't carry. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. What were the chances? Not good, apparently. Oh, geez, Louise. Okay, so take, uh, take this, put it, you know, here's the uh, sticker, and... Um, I think the teamwork specialist is going to have to take the next uh, call off so they can heal this. As you can see, I can now only hold one piece of equipment instead of two. So one of these is lost. Why didn't I use this? Oh, alrighty. I think I'll keep the uh, two AP. It's just more flexible than the instantly. Well, see, this is nice. This is remove a threat. Um, well, but that's the equivalent of two action points only on fire, where that's universally two action points. So let's just go on ahead and do that. So. <sighs> well, I guess I, I guess I was not as safe as I thought up there. All right, so anyway, I am done. And like I said, this is a permanent injury uh, for future rounds unless I leave the teamwork specialist at home. And that's a shame. Now we've taken... All right, but you know what? Next time we go out, the generalist will be back up in Adam because the generalist is at home right now working off their injury. The generalist effectively gives themselves five action points. This is four plus one, so it's kind of, you know... It's, it'll be okay, but man, the worst thing is losing that piece of equipment. Wow, that was ridiculous that that happened, but it's like the fire has a mind of its own, It doesn't it? I mean, I'm sure Flash, longtime fans of Flashpoint Fire X, you can confirm this down in the comments below. Yeah, that kind of insane, unprobable stuff happens all the time. So anyway, that was not great at all. Okay, so, uh, you know, he gets knocked down, but he gets up again. There's nothing going to keep this firefighter down. Uh, 
other than too many injuries. <laughs> but we'll worry about that later. Okay, so I think it's my turn then, right? Yes, so here I am back here, and I've got my four action points, and now just my reserve oxygen tank. Oh, man, that hurts. But no, I, and I've got one. I've got five. So what am I going to do? Oh, wait. Oh, one more thing, though. At the end of Jen's turn, there's only one point of interest back on the board. And as you're reminded here, the last thing you do is after the, you deal with the fire deck, you replenish POI. So we need to have two new POIs on the board. All righty. So one is at um, one, six. Black one. Six. All right. So over here, pretty easy to get to. And the other one is at red one, black five. Oh, my gosh. What is this person doing there? Wow. I hope that's a I hope that's a false alarm because I don't know that we could save that person. Jeez Louise. Okay. So it and unfortunately it is my turn. I wish I had the heartbeat sensor so I could reveal what that is over there, but I do not. <sighs> Jeez. All right. What could I do? I have still five action points. I could spend one action point to get over here onto the ambulance, two, um, and then two action points to get over here, and then two more to clear this fire out so that I would give them a chance. But I don't know if I want to do that without even knowing if it's a waste of time. But here's the thing. With, um, if any of these spots get hit by the next advanced fire, it'll spread right there and get them. If I do this, um, do I risk everything? I'm a firefighter. Of course I do. So first of all, I'm going to use my banked action to move from this vehicle to this vehicle. Now I am going to spend two actions to drive the ambulance over here. And now we both have the option of, or I'm, I'm driving, so I'm coming over here. Jen can stay or go. And I think Jen's going to stay uh, to go rescue this person and all that. Right. So that I had five actions. One to get over there, two to drive over here, and then one to clear this. Wait! Uh, ooh, this makes me wish I had my fire singer so I could just get this rid of. All right, so three, four. And you know what? I'm not going to make this mistake again. I'm going to use my reserve oxygen tank now because there was no reason not to save it. So I've got more actions. So here's the deal I could go one, two with that reserve oxygen tank and reveal that person. But, it's not, but then I'd be stuck. I couldn't move them. I couldn't help them, but here's the important thing. Because I have cleared all of that out, um, you know, Park Ranger Bill could now give an order to everybody in their row or column. Park Ranger Bill could tell you to come over here. <gasps> oh, and I could almost do it. If I, if I could get one, two, I could get them to safety. But here's the deal. Mm -mm. No, it's, they're in equal danger either way. They're, um, they're actually, yeah. Because if this, this, or this gets hit, then it, the, you know, the fire flashes over and gets them. If this, this, or this gets hit, the fire flashes over. I'm going to have Ranger Bill move them over so that they're one step closer because I just cleared a uh, lane for them. Good job, Ranger Bill. Oh, if that's a false alarm, I'm going to be ticked. We will find... Ooh, you know what? Okay, I do have a reason. I am going to burn these two energy I got. I'm going to walk out here to find out what it is. Because if this was a false alarm, it was a waste of Park Ranger Bill moving them. So I'm gonna find out what it is. It is a false alarm. Ooh! Wow, okay. Well then, here's the deal. Ranger Bill doesn't have anybody in their row or column. So the best thing Ranger Bill can do is move up to two spaces. So that means on a future turn, Ranger Bill can issue orders over there, right? Wait a minute. No, oh shoot, I forgot. Ranger Bill could still do something else. No, 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 no. Okay, I am not going to have done that because that was dumb. We're just going to put this back because I totally forgot. There's this little fella waiting to move over. So it was not a waste. Even if this is a false alarm, it is not a waste for Ranger Bill. So I'm going to hold on to my banked actions after all. I, I totally forgot the dog was here. Folks, apologies. Uh, I'm saving these banked actions. I'll get over here later. This may or may not be a uh, false alarm. Ranger Bill um, is now going to issue orders to both of them. Move and move. So the dog is in position for when the uh, ambulance comes back down here for a rescue. Okay. So, and I could come down here to find out what it is, but there's just no reason to. 
because um, I won't have enough action to get them back to safety. So we're just going to let it be. That was the end of my turn, and now we see what the fire deck has. The winds gust. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The winds gust north. Set the red die to one, right? Now, advance fire twice. We're going to advance fire twice on this row. Oh my gosh. If I was down there, I'd be all but up there. I'd be guaranteed to get hit again. Oh, please be an eight. No, it's a one. No, oh my gosh. It's a one. So one, one is here. And it goes flashes. Boom. And we find out, please still be a, it was still a false alarm. Wow. Okay. That's good news anyway. Alrighty. And then we have to do it again. It's seven. So uh, this one comes in as a, but it's next to fire. So boom. Wow. I am just wasting my time up here. Jeez Louise. So as you can see, this is the um, the fact that we are not just playing regular Flashpoint Fire Rescue where, oh, it's just always the same. Hey, check for smoke, or explosions, flashovers, hazmat, flare-ups, and um, knockdowns. You know, it's the exact same thing. Turn after turn, this deck can surprise the heck out of you. Like saying, oh, the winds are from the north. They were going to have double fire on this row, as an example. And Jen and I, we've been playing for a while now. We've played several missions, and we've seen all kinds of interesting stuff come out of this deck that really mixes up the regular Flashpoint experience. Oh, that was... Okay, I'm, I'm, okay. We're, I'm just going to live with it. Again, it could have been a lot worse. Uh, I could have been down there, in which case I would have gotten hit. So, fine, 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 fine. Done. Um, okay. All righty. Uh, now, it is Jen's turn. So first of all, Jen's going to use this heartbeat. Oh, no. Wait. At the end of my turn, there are only two POIs, so we need to put a, a third POI out uh, at 1-4. All righty. Come here, you POI. At uh, red 4. Uh, right. So right there. Okay. Okay. So it is Jen's turn. Uh, Jen says she's going to use her heartbeat sensor to find out what this is to see if it's a waste of time. It is not a waste of time. Jen needs to go save this person. All right, so she's used this once per turn. Jen, unfortunately, Ranger Bill can't, or Ranger, Jen's going to have Ranger Bill say, hey, Ranger Bill, move two. One, two. Now, Ranger Bill, if fire ever moves here, Ranger Bill is just smart enough to move away. They've got some safety equipment. Um, you know, or they'd move away following, so they would move, you know, follow away uh, to, to, to get to safety. But anyway, we're moving up here so that on my turn, Ranger Bill can order this one to move south, right? Okay. So anyway, so Jen's used both of the special powers she's got. Uh, oh, wait, one more thing, folks. At the end of my turn, I forgot. So teamwork specialist, I'm going to give Jen more. So Jen's now got six action points. She's going to spend one, two of them, three, four. So that's one, two, three, four to get there. And then five, six to start carrying this person to safety. That's some teamwork. Okay, boom, done. Let's see what the deck says next. The embers ignite. Advance fire. Oh, a bunch of stuff is going to happen, folks. Advance fire at three, three. Three, three, that is... That is not a good place to advance fire. So it radiates in all the directions. Explodes down here, boom. Explodes over here, boom. Explodes over in this direction, boom. Wants to go north, can't go any farther north, and more fire spreads into the surrounding park. And remember, if we run out of these, and an infinite number of these can appear in all these spaces. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Um, no, there is no, uh, th this is, this yellow line is a special rule for this. If it over here, it would, it just meant, hey, fire came up here, and if somebody had been standing here, they would have gotten hit, but then it goes away. It's always been the rule. When fire is on the outskirts, it hits something and then disappears. In this case, I was protected inside the ambulance, so, because there's the exit right there. So, that could have been worse. So, anyway, we advanced fire. Now, if there was any smoke out here, and there's not, there's nothing but fire, um, flip all smoke to fire. So that would not be great. Now, the active player, that is, who is that? That's Jen. The active player gets two bonus actions. Um, so that, you know, gets to do more stuff. Draw and resolve an event card from the event deck. And then shuffle the fire deck back in. So we know this gu Gus North is going to go back into the deck. So what is our first event going to be? A little aerial assist. 
Man, we need this. A helicopter from a nearby forest fire control operation is dumping water to control the blaze. Roll both dice to determine a target space. You can flip one or both dice if you wish. Remove all threat markers from the target space and adjacent spaces. So it's like we were able to use our deck gun. But, I mean, there wasn't water for our fire truck, but a helicopter gave an assist. So hopefully it'll just land dead. Actually, it'd be kind of ideal to land down here on the outskirts. Let's see where it lands. All righty. Two, three. That's not bad. It would get one, two, three, four. But remember, we could flip this. So it could be two, eight, or three, five. Um, so three, five would be down here. That would not be as good. Uh, two, eight would not be as good either. I think the base roll is best of two, three. So thanks, helicopter. We could use all the help we could get. By the way, folks, I should say, I don't know if this is going to be for the final, but my prototype is really cool. To make all the maps, it's got these two different books. You flip to the correct pages, you put them together, um, and we've got our forest fire. Thank you um, for the aerial assist. Oh, and then, don't forget, this also said the fire deck gets reshuffled. All right. And so hopefully we bury that northern thing at the bottom, but who knows? It might be the very next thing that happens. Okay, boom. So that was Jen's turn, a pretty good turn. She carried over some actions. I've got some actions banked, and what am I gonna do? So here's the deal, folks. I'm almost starting to think, maybe we should just let it burn, just to heck with all of this up here. If all of this was fire, then what would happen is if any point, oh wait, do we have? We, yeah, we still have here. If any points of interest were to try and appear here, they would follow the arrows to run out. And if we could just maintain, if this was all, solid wall of fire that means people would spawn here and we could just try to keep the fire back and save them and move them down here but we cut we got this big area they could pop up in there so i feel like as long as there's that area up there i should stay up there and try and deal with it right and if that's the case what am i going to do with my six action points well let's go on ahead and spend two to put this out and then i've got four more points um, one, two, three, four. Right, we've now cut the fire in half. Okay, also, on my turn, I tell Park Ranger Bill, hey, issue an order to everybody in your row or column. It'll be everybody in the road to tell this, move away from the fire, please. So that's good. And I don't have any equipment, so I'm done. And now, it's a whole new deck, folks. Anything could happen. And as is usually the case, we're just going to advance some fire. All righty. Red one, uh, black two, right here, which means explode. Boom. Spreading over, spreading over, spreading in that way. It, the fire spreads into the surrounding park, spreads in the surrounding park. If we run out of these, we lose. So, but so far, so good. All righty. Jen's turn. And what is Jen going to do? Jen has five. Um, one, two... Three, four, using her diagonal action. All righty. So one, two, three, four. She's got one more action. What is she going to do? I think she's just going to hold on. Oh, wait. Don't forget. I keep forgetting my teamwork specialist. At the end of my turn, I gave Jim an, Jim another action. So she's got two more actions. Well, first of all, she's going to use the heartbeat sensor to find out what this is out here. It's a real person. So for her last two actions, she is going to rush right back into the thick of things. One, two. Now it's kind of dangerous to stand next to this fire. She doesn't have to. She doesn't have to. She could just wait. And when she's next turn, she's got five, she could move more safely. I mean, if she comes here, there's only a, what, again, a one in 50 chance that this space would get hit and would hit her. But there's no reason to. There's just no reason. So she's going we to, know, we know what's out there. And here's the interesting thing. Until we get this back down, you know what? You know what Jen could do with her last two action points? She could spend them to call the ambulance back. How about we do that? Comes back down here, lands on this spot, instantly rescues these two people. We've now saved four of the seven people we need to save, folks. And um, that means at the end of Jen's turn, we're going to get two more points of interest appearing. All righty. Oh, wait, oh, no. But not until after we find out what the deck says. The winds gust east. All right. Set the black die to one and make, oh no, nice lady, nice lady, we can't save you. 
Oh no! So, um, two things are gonna try and um, and get her. Come on, show me a t uh, show me a two. Anything, anything but a five. N anything but a five. Anything but a five. Come on, folks. Were one of you out there wishing ill on that lady? Bo no, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. There's no fire. It's just smoke. She's already incapacitated from the smoke. It's fine. But Gus Win East, we have to go again. Now, anything but a four or a five. Because if it's a four, this smoke will catch fire and then it'll catch fire. If it's a six or a one or a two, or yeah, you know, or, or it has to be a one, a two, or a six. If it's a three, this will explode. Come here and okay. All right. I'm just picturing a one. Everybody, wherever you are, if you're watching this video, visualize the power of positive thinking. Everybody visualize a one, and so your the strength of your conviction will reach back through time, so I roll a one right now. Okay, I'll take it. Just a little smoky. Just a little smoky. Phew, that was close. The winds gusted east. They tried to get her, but she's still hanging on, although she can't see, she can't breathe. Okay. So, what are we going to do? That was Jen's turn. It is my turn. I have four action points. Man, a Ranger Bill, I can move into position, so next turn he... Wait, 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 no, one more thing. We need to put some POIs out on the board, right? Because at the end of your turn, if there aren't at least three, you uh, roll until you've got at least three. So, a POI, it could be something real, it could be a fake... Uh, is it three five three five? Now there's fire here, so we follow the arrows, and it comes over here. And then we need one more, and it's one one. That's uh, not great. Follows the arrows, follows the arrows. Hey, somebody I could save for a change. That might be nice. Okay, well I've got something to do now. My turn. Um, first of all, I am going to spend two of my four actions, one two, coming here to discover it's the kitty cat. The kitty cat. Okay. But now I've got a tough choice to make, folks. It takes two actions to move with an injured victim. And even if it's a tiny little kitty cat. So, I could move here. I could move here. I can't move diagonally like Jen. Drat. So, if I stay here, if this, 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 or this gets hit, I take a hit. If I move here, there's only one, two. So, there are four potentials. So, I'm, I'm in more danger there. So I shouldn't stay there. If I move here, then it's only if that or that hit. So, whereas if I move here, if that, that, or that hit, it'll cross over and hit me. So I think this is the safest place to move. So, I'm one, two to move to the kitty, three, four, drag the kitty to the safest place I can. Stay alive, Freckles! I will get you out of here, Mr. Whiskers! So, um, right, that's fine. Everything's okay. I'm, I'll still just go on ahead and have you come down here because Jen needs help. And on the next turn, they can start issuing orders to both of these people. Ranger build. All right. And now, what's the deck have? Okay. Kind of caught a break. Just a fire rages. There are good cards in this deck, by the way, folks. There are things like respite and stuff. I'd like to see one of those, please. But not today. The fire advances on red four, black eight. And hey, it's just some smoke. Now, so far, we've been lucky. None of these, ha I mean, we have not been spending time carrying the hazardous chemicals out. It's a real risk because these could explode and really take things to the next level. But hey, that was pretty good. Can't complain. It is Jen's turn. And Jen, oh, wait, oh, and at the end of my turn, giving an extra action. Nor I'll give them to Jen because she only has three, whereas I start with four. And Jen says, okay, first of all, uh, she's going to have Ranger Bill. First of all, wait a minute, do we need another POI? No, we have one, two, three. We're going to reveal what this is with the heartbeat sensor. It's a false alarm. Crap. Okay. Uh, Jen is going to have uh, Mr. Ranger move her this direction. So now, Jen, with her four action points, goes one, two, three, four. Okay. And getting him to safety uh, with her agility and her heartbeat sensor and a little bit of assist from Ranger Bill. Okay. Let's see what we got next. You know what, folks? You've seen enough of Fire Rages. I'm gonna sh I'm gonna say something else. So you can see something new, right? Yeah. Let's see. Let's say this is what happened. The wind is dying down. Okay, a good thing. Advance the fire. Alrighty, it's one one. 
which is right here. Boom. Okay, so fire spreads over there, cutting me off from an escape. It spreads right down into there, and it spreads north, making us run out of, uh, you know, the rest of the, the rest of the park is catching on fire if we run out of these cubes. But still, that was a lot. It could have been worse. Now, the wind is dying down. The active player gets two bonus whatchamajigs. So Jen says, yay, I'll use those later. Draw and resolve another event. We're going to resolve a new event. I know this park like the back of my hand. Park Ranger Bill impresses you with his knowledge of hidden trails and shortcuts. Move the helper marker, Ranger Bill, to an empty space anywhere we want. Just in put them anywhere we want or have them do two helper actions. That is bad timing, Ranger Bill. I mean, because the helper actions could be to reveal these things, but we already know they're good. Or, um, you know, to make things move. Right, so we're just going to put a Ranger Bill wherever we want. I'm just going to put Ranger Bill in the center so it maximizes their chance of being able to help move people around. Let's go like that. Let's put them right there. So eh, it's, a, it's okay. It's not great. But hey, it could have been worse. And then shuffle all of the cards back into the deck. Okay, so that was Jen's turn. Boom. And we're back to me. Oh wait, you know what I could have done? You know what I could have, what I could have, should have done? Ugh. Let's have put Ranger Bill right there. That's the place to put Ranger Bill, definitely. Okay, cool. So, my turn. First of all, I've got four action points. One, two. Then, Ranger Bill, tell everybody in your row or column to move one space in every direction. Kitty Cat, move on your own. Because that meant I did. I got to move the Kitty Cat for free. Normally, I have to spend two action points to move it. But the Kitty Cat moved um, for free and is almost to safety. And um, this, ah, uh, we're on the wall. So it could move over here to pretty much safety so Jen could go do the other stuff. Oh, hey, wait a minute. I forgot. We should have one more point of interest. At the end of the previous turn, there were only two. So I forgot. Folks, if I always watch the Klingon subtitles, Paula pointed out that I should have put another point of interest at 2-2, two, two, which is right here, which move over there, there, there. So we have that point of interest. Okay. So Ranger Bill told these two to move. Okay. And so, well, this one's not so safe. The kitty cat is not so safe. Man. But I mean, it would have taken me two actions to move both of us here. Uh, but Ranger Bill can get them out on the other turn if I feel like I can do other stuff. I have two more actions now. What should I do? What should I do? I might just bank them. Because I'm fairly safe. There's only a, a 1 in 25 chance that I'm going to get hit. The kitty's in a little bit more danger, but you know, I can't, I, I can't get them out. So I think I'm just going to bank these for later. Fine. And then at the end of my turn, I mean, I'm going to give another one to Jen's got to. I'm going to give myself some more. Gosh darn it. Um, right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to teamwork with myself for a change. Then we have a new event and the fire rages. All righty. Red six. Whoa. What the heck? How is this happening? Number three. It comes in as smoke, but boom, catches fire. Jen gets knocked down. And if, if Ranger Rick or Ranger Bill had not moved this person over, they would have gotten burned. So Ranger Rick is the true hero of this adventure. Jen is knocked out. Jen is now going to get an injury herself. Uh, but fortunately, she doesn't have to throw away equipment like I did. Um, but then she'll get right back up. And she's in position to rush out and save the person. And um, yeah, that was it. And then it's Jen's turn. And what happens next, folks? I'm not quite sure, but I think I'm going to stop right there because that should give you a pretty good idea of the feel and the flavor and the danger of Flashpoint Legacy of Flame. And now, if you'd like to hear some final thoughts about this, uh, you can hit that eye up in the top right corner screen, or you can follow the links down in the show notes. Your choice in five, four, three, two, one.